Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading. You asked for a sign or message, here it is. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. So we have pile one with this card. We have pile two with this card. And we have pile three with this card. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find the timestamps. And I will see you guys in your sub readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. So you felt drawn to this beautiful red card here, matches my nails. I also saw I needed to fix my nails, but yeah, I forgot about that. So anyways, let's see what we have here behind the tape. And we have Courage with Red Jasper. This looks like a compass or like a steering wheel compass. Stay the course, stay the course, stay grounded. Yeah, I'm getting like a lot of messages, but let's do some more cards. We have two little cards here and we have Strength. You're being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. Yeah. You need to stay on track and there is some, it could be some challenge that has come up here or something is burning or something wants to pull you, pull you away from, uh, from your path. But I feel like, yeah, stay strong and uh, stay on track, stay on track. Yeah, ground yourself. Signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicity. You're very guided, very, very guided. And I feel like you know what you want, you know where you're going. Don't lose sight of the prize. <laughs> Don't lose sight of what you wanted. Um, if something has come up that is shaking you a bit, you need to be extra strong extra strong right now and keep yourself really really grounded because this will pass i hear this will also pass we have trust wow <laughs> trust the angels are encouraging you encouraging you to keep the faith yeah trust that this this hmm i feel like you're going somewhere i feel like you're you're yeah you're traveling somewhere or you're going somewhere to a certain goal and it feels like it's very important that you don't lose that or that you don't stop or that you don't get lost in something don't get lost in something yeah trust fear wow we have kalima here also look at that solar plexus chakra so Hmm. What is courage and fear and strength? So what is what is challenging you right now? Hmm. You need to work that through. You need to work that challenge through and you need to face it. And number 6 here. Hmm. Balance, harmony, could be something that has come up from the past or something that you really haven't dealt with that needs to be dealt with. Like something coming back because you didn't really let it go the first time or, but something is here. Hmm. Work that through, they're saying. Work that fear through, that blockage, that challenge, the fire that is burning here and maybe demands courage from you, a lot of strength, you need to ground yourself, very important that you trust, that's the most important thing, that you have trust, because you are meant to overcome this, and you're meant to reach, I keep seeing like this goal, and I see it, like it's a bit further, I would say like it's, this is, you can't, you came halfway, yeah, actually, yeah, there's so many, you're at least halfway, <laughs> and uh, so whatever this is, when you overcome it, you're going to be on your way again, let's see what else we got actually, 
Rain. Hmm. And we have 34 and 35. So maybe somebody's turning is 34 and is turning 35. Or it just shows, yeah, the next step on the journey. You're you're at 34, now you're going to 35. <laughs> Uh, but rain here, cleansing. Something needs to be cleansed. Kalima is very good, you know. She helps us face our fears and she helps us get rid of them. Very powerful energy, actually. Uh, kill our enemies. Kill our mental enemies. Kill our emotional enemies. If you ask for enlightenment, if she wants to help you, she will chop your head off. <laughs> She's fierce. Very fierce energy here. So you have this... You can take. You can actually draw energy from Kalima. You can connect with her, actually, with this energy, and and find kind of find this dragon energy within you or this Kali energy within you, and f face this whatever this is to overcome it, to cleanse with the rain. Look so beautiful here. Cleanse this, cleanse this because you're you're so guided. Signs, trust. You're so guided. You know what you want and you know where you're going. This is just something that has come up on your path here. Wild. Wow, this is beautiful. Hmm. Set yourself free, I hear. Set yourself free. Dare to be wild. Dare to live. Hmm. Could be some fear holding you back even. You know? You need courage. You need strength. You need, you need to be wild. You need to rebel almost against this. To... Take back your power. Feel empowered. Yeah, feel empowered. You can do this. We have hair with strength again. Come on. <laughs> so you have courage one time and strength two times. I mean, wow. Time to make, take time to make clear decisions. Bring awareness and light into the situation. This card is beautiful because there's a hair sitting here in the dark. Uh, it's night, but it's beautiful flowers here. So... You're facing something dark. Yeah, I mean, you have Kalima, you have a fear, of course. You're facing something a bit darker on your path, a bit heavier. Even the wild here feels like she's she she's running away, you know. She's, it's the middle of the night and she has the... She's guiding herself through the light. Yeah, guide yourself through the light. N night <laughs> with the light. <laughs> yeah, and the red here also, root chakra. Root chakra here also, red jasper and the red here, root chakra. And there's a lot of fear in the root chakra and the sacral, uh, in the solar plexus chakra. So what is making you feel shaky? What is shaking you up? What is shaking you up? Free yourself from that and be on your way. Soul song, yeah. Sing your song. Uh, there's something calling you very, very strongly. And when I picked up this card, I felt how the energy, whoo, calm down. <laughs> so something very, very, it's like a, it started out like a whisper. Yeah, you heard it as a whisper maybe in your heart. And it started out like that. Many of you, I feel like you already, you're already halfway. I see between, because we have 35. You're 35 to 60%. <laughs> so I heard 80 also. So there's a difference here. You know how far you have come. But you have taken big steps you need to know that wherever you are on your journey you have taken big steps so whatever you're dealing with is just another like stepping stone on the path you know and some of them are not so nice and it seems here that something has come up that demands a lot of courage and a lot of strength for you to face this yeah and trust this i feel once again it's so important that you trust the process that you surrender to what's going on that things comes up for you to release it. Things that you don't... They, it can't stay in your energy anymore. It can't stay in your life anymore. Uh, things are moving. Things are changing. And you're meant to liberate yourself. Yeah. And soul song. Yeah, it started out like a whisper. Now it's a song. It's like a whole song singing. Like I hear literally like your soul is calling you. Like come home. Come home. Come home. Yeah, that's what I hear. Come home. <laughs> so something is really pulling you <clears throat> into the light. <clears throat> into the light, which symbolizes this better future for yourself. Where you are, you're heading somewhere where you're going to feel, you're going to be more like 
aligned yeah you're heading to a place where you're aligned with your soul and with what your soul wants to how your soul wants to live you to live your life you know you and your soul it's the same thing but like you're going somewhere and I don't know what you're doing there but I see a, like a lot of light yeah a lot of light and I feel like you're free yeah I feel like you're free and really like cleansed with the rain here cleansed and free it's like really like a fresh fresh new chapter Hmm, your soul is singing so beautiful when I tap into this energy. So let's do some tarot cards. <clears throat> let's see what else we got here. Uh, wait, let me just fix the cards a little bit. We can make some more space here. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep it, keep it like that. So tarot cards. And I have a little cup. We're going to see which deck we're going to use. And I feel like we're going to take... Oh, yeah, this one really... Oh, two. Okay, you got two. Two decks. <laughs> we can do that. And we have Wheel... Let me see here. We have Wheel of the Year Tarot. And we have also New Vision Tarot. So let's do three cards of each deck. So we have the Wheel of the Year. And we have... Where do I have new vision tarot? Hmm, give me a second, I see it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay, so three cards from each deck and I think we're gonna start, oh yeah, this stayed and this one also kind of kind of came out. So I think, yeah, let's just put them like this. It looks really nice. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, this really jumped out. So I think I'm gonna do like, like this. <laughs> then we'll do one of these. And uh, yeah, I actually think we're gonna do these two. And we're gonna do one more of these. <laughs> Made it like beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful colors here. <laughs> really beautiful actually. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Six of Wands, wow. <clears throat> that's why I felt this trust card so strong. I really felt like this was standing out in your reading. Trust, the angels are encouraging you to keep faith. And then we have six of wands underneath, you know, six of wands is victory, uh, success. Uh, yeah, victory and success. So really, it's like you are on the right path. And this is just another like stepping stone or another thing that has come up here that you need to conquer. And maybe it is a bit demanding now because you need to be strong. You need to be, I feel like grounded is very important because it, when there are things coming up, you know, fears, challenging emotions and situations and thoughts, it's easy to fly away into that and completely lose ourselves. So really important to like try to be like a tree. You are a tree, you know, keep you, push your roots deep down into Mother Earth. And call on Kalima uh, and help her, ask her to help you uh, transcend this fear or, yeah, to transcend this fear. Hmm. We have five of cups. So, yeah, I felt like something from the past maybe came up, uh, some disappointment. And it's like you maybe you already dealt with this, but it wasn't really done. So it kind of came up again to be dealt with. It doesn't have to be like that, but I feel for some of you it is. So five of cups, you know, um, loss, regret. Maybe you're thinking a lot about this. Uh, hmm. I feel like you want to do what is right. And because you want to do what is right, you lose, your, you lose yourself maybe in this. But I think maybe the, the best thing to do is to I, I run away. <laughs> but to wild, I don't know, free, free yourself and... Let's see what else we got here. Four of Swords. Okay. We have also King of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Hmm. Bring peace to this. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. You know, could be a very manipulative person, arrogant person. You're dealing, if you're dealing with somebody difficult, and I feel like for you is to bring peace to yourself because. I don't know if you're overthinking this or if you're feeling guilty or, you know, you, you want to fix it or you feel it's your responsibility maybe um, or ruminating about something that happened, uh, having a hard time letting that go. But Four of Swords makes me feel like bring peace to your mind. Bring peace to your mind because if this is the person, King of Swords in reverse, that you're dealing with, 
doesn't really matter what you do <laughs> actually because this is somebody that is dishonest somebody could be manipulative somebody that plays, plays mind games, somebody that made you disappointed and will make you disappointed again. So it seems to be the best thing that you can do while free yourself. This, you know, it's a... I don't know if maybe this is a relationship for some of you. It feels like a free woman here. You're free here, you know? And you're finding your... You're taking your power back and you're finding yourself again. So somebody it could be somebody that has been somehow criticizing you or making you feel bad about who you are. So somehow it feels like taking yourself back. You know, it, it, it takes a lot of courage and strength to stand up to this person. And it could be like a relationship, an ex even, you know, you're, this person is still coming up. It could be a parent. It could be anybody. But it seems to be something that you're struggling with here. It could even be like a part of your, like something within you, like a blockage that is keeping you away from moving forward, like a th thought, <laughs> like a one a manipulative thought, <laughs> like your ego is playing mind games with you. It could even be that. Uh, if you don't, if you don't look, if you don't feel like this is a person, so we have the fool in reverse. Hmm. This really makes me feel like this person if you're dealing with a person and if you're like should I let this person go or how should I handle it and it's Christmas now so maybe you feel like you need to be a little bit nice or something like that with the fool and the king of swords in reverse I feel like this is a very this is a very childish immature person person that will not change this person will keep on hurting you with the five of cups it will just keep on you will keep on doing this keep up happening over oh over and over again and the thing is you're in a good place in your life you're on your way somewhere you have dreams you're you have hopes you have wishes you're creating something for yourself your soul was whispering you heard that little whisper and you started to change your life and now your soul is singing calling you saying come home come home come to the light <laughs> come to the light i have something beautiful here for you so it's like follow that and stop wasting your time and energy on this and it could even be that you need to protect yourself a little bit uh, during I don't know it's December now so this is a timeless reading but I always find December is like I'm always very tired and it's, uh, there's so many energies and there's so much there's so much energies collective energies moving around so it's like it's it's a bit of a heavier month even if it's nice with Christmas and things like that if you celebrate Christmas or if you have Christmas in your country but I always find that the uh, it's, it's more dense with energy. So it <clears throat> could be that you are being a bit shaky now just because of that as well, because you're sensitive. But you're on your way somewhere. <clears throat> and where you're going, this person is not going to follow you. you no, know, this is your place. This is not... Yeah, this is not... This person is not going to follow you. We have also strength in reverse. <clears throat> hmm... So I feel... It feels like this person makes you doubt yourself. Uh, your makes you uses your vulnerability uses your weakest points Could definitely this definitely sounds like a little bit of narcissistic energy it doesn't have to be some kind of toxic person they're using your weakest points they making you doubt yourself they're making you confused they play mind games and they, they use your vulnerabilities and your vulnerability is something beautiful actually your sensitivity and vulnerability this is the empath narcissist dynamic it's so typical but it's something beautiful and um, but they are <clears throat> they are using it in some way to their advantage to keep you they want to keep you they want to keep you here i don't know they like disappointing you they are, <laughs> this sounds strange they like hurting you actually and I mean, from a place of, they're not aware of this, of course. This is a narcissist, you know, it's a personality disorder. It's actually an illness. But we need to protect ourselves from that. But this person draws energy from your hurt. This is definitely like an energy vampire that you're dealing with. They're taking like a lot of energy from you. So this is kind of like what you need to release yourself from. And maybe something like this has come up. And uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, solar plexus, you know, they're really t t taking your power, taking your energy, making you small, crossing your boundaries, trying to control you, maybe. You need to stand up for yourself. 
you need to be strong. It's very interesting because you strength and strength two times and then strength in reverse. You got strength three times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, your reading is really telling you to be strong. Be strong, be grounded. You need to be courageous. You need to do things maybe that you haven't done before, standing up for yourself, facing, you know, I know for myself, I have a narcissistic mom and you know, it's Christmas time and I'm not gonna spend Christmas. I, I went no contact six months ago, best thing I ever did. But you know, it's it's difficult because I feel guilt and I feel like, oh, maybe it's not that bad. And maybe it's, you know, all these thoughts comes up in my head, but I know, you know, it's not, if I go there, she's going to do the same things because they don't change, you know? <laughs> so it's like, what is the best for me? And it, it, it's like, I have to face all these feelings of maybe feeling guilty, maybe feeling a bit not shameful, but I feel like guilt and responsibility mostly because I have been her trash bin my whole life. I think it's kind of like, I think it's my role. I think I have to do that. <laughs> you know, sometimes we think we have to take their bullshit just because it's like, it's so, it's like a trauma bond. Yeah, they call it a trauma bond because it's a, the trauma bond is so strong. It's like somewhere is something, we are born, we are, we grew up with this. We think it's normal, but it's like not, it's not normal, but it takes time to, Re redo the damage, you know, to cut that trauma band bond and redo the damage. So whoever you have in your life, whoever this person is, it could be that you have a strong trauma bond with this person. They are feeding on your pain. They are feeding on your vulnerability and your traumas, your emotional wounds, even from your childhood. If this is not a parent, like if this is another person that has shown up here, uh, <clears throat> It's very important for you to keep this person out of your life and keep your inner peace with the four of swords and keep heading towards your, listen to the soul song and keep heading into the light because you're going to the light and unfortunately you cannot bring this person with you and it's not your responsibility to do that. It's not your responsibility. This person has their own angels and guides and their own experience. So for now, it's very important that you release and let go. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> pile number one. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile one, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. So you felt drawn to this card. Let's see what we have here behind the tape. And we have inspiration with chrysanthemum stone. Inspiration, beautiful yellow orange card. So let's put it here and let's see what else we've got. So you asked for a sign or message. Here it is. We're gonna start with this smaller card, truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Okay. We have observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. Okay. Truth, observation, inspiration. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. We have forgiveness. Archangel Fanuel is urging you to let go of past grievances. Peace, I see here with the dove also. Inspiration, forgiveness. Hmm. We have compassion. Wow. Wow. This is nice. Inspiration, forgiveness, compassion. What a... I wasn't prepared for this energy. <laughs> yeah, completely shifted with the... Hmm compassion, forgiveness, expand your consciousness. I feel like you're about to, pile number two, I feel like you're about to shift your consciousness. You're about to expand your consciousness. There will be a lot of, I would say like strange spiritual experiences on your path. <laughs> yeah, it will be, a, it's going to open up things that you weren't prepared for. And if you are feeling lost for the moment, I feel like just hang in there because I think this is going to shift pretty quickly. I hear within a month, within a month or two, 
yeah within a month or two this is going to shift and you are could be that you're shedding some skin now or that you're purging something difficult now and i feel like i keep hearing like just hold on because i see this is the energy here is just like wow <laughs> you know with compassion and forgiveness forgiveness you know is a very very high state you know it's not a mental thing to forgive forgiveness is a natural state that comes when we have transcended our emotions our mind you know this it comes by itself it's nothing we can force or like say oh i forgive it doesn't work like that so when compassion you know is also a very very high state of being you know compassion is also the same thing it comes from when you have purified your energy so much and you're, you're very deeply in touch with who you are at the essence you're in touch with your truth here see your light know your power have the courage to walk your truth i think you're about with inspiration i think you're going to reach a point in your life where you're completely shifting your energy and it's going to be very very inspiring and i feel like i feel like i feel like i want, i feel like i'm tired like i feel like i'm so tired i want to sit down and i want to cry and say like i really hope this is true and the cat came here to confirm it <laughs> so yeah i feel like you're tired and you're like you can't even believe this is going to happen but i feel like i feel like they're saying like hold hold on and the, the yellow and orange here feels like you're going to get new vit vitality. Like I keep feeling like I'm so tired. Like I can't, I can't fight anymore. Or I don't even know what to do anymore. Like I did everything that I was guided to do. And I did my work and I did everything. And why, why am I, what's going on? But I feel like you're going through some kind of purge or some kind of cleanse. Observe. The only thing you can do now is, is observe what's going on, you know? And observe and like keep on doing like if you do some spiritual practices you know meditation you're awake you're aware you ground yourself you center yourself all these things you keep on doing that and then i think it's going to shift here in the beginning so this is the timeless reading but like yeah i think like one to two months and if you're listening to this in, in december when i'm recording it january february i'm having a really good feeling about those two months so i feel like something is about to shift so hang on hang hang in there because and even inspiration if things has been like i feel like maybe you have a pile of things that you need to deal with like you have things that you should dealt should deal with or should should have dealt with and you just don't have the energy or you just don't have the time or the motivation or the inspiration to do so don't feel bad about that because you're going to you're going to deal with all those things that has been falling behind when this happens to you here when you are start when you are kind of like entering this new energy entering this new energy hmm you're going to be able to deal with all those things so right now the thing that you can do now is like i heard like just survive <laughs> yeah just survive take yourself through this and uh, just wait it out and uh, like uh, keep your yeah keep yourself grounded observation kind of just like meditate you know be in nature try to keep yourself calm and balanced and those things yeah probably you've done like a lot of work with yourself because you've done something you have done something that caused a big purge and now you're kind of dealing with the purge it feels hmm let's see more cards here bushfires wow fury yeah, it says fury with bushfires. We have a 10 here. See, it's about to end, the completion. Wow, poor kangaroos here. So yeah, there is a fire going on. Yeah, I felt that. Wow, this was cool actually. Because yeah, uh, definitely like you're dealing with something. And it, it, once again, like keep yourself calm. Don't try to solve. You don't have to like kind of solve anything now. Because if you're trying to solve something right now, it's it's like it goes up into your head. It's, it's very hard to solve it from the place that you are because everything is burning right now. Or there's a lot of things going on, a lot of energy is moving, a lot of things going on. So now it's kind of like just breathe, wait it out, ground yourself, do what is good for you. This means still means that you're taking certain action to do what is good for you, to protect your energy, to calm your energy, to calm your mind, to calm your emotions, to balance yourself. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Yeah, you keep doing that. Keep walking your truth. But it's going to calm down and it's going to calm down big time. It's like big purge is over. Like a big massive purge <laughs> is going to be over. And I feel like, I my stomach hurted. Yeah, I just got like a 
yeah, really, like my stomach just went, you know, like a cramp. So yeah, this was hard to digest. Yeah, very hard to digest this. Maybe you had problems with your stomach, constipation, or I don't know, diarrhea, something with your stomach maybe, but something was hard to digest, like a massive purge. Maybe you were throwing up even, but you're going to feel so good. I want you to know that you're going to feel so good, especially if you've been doing the work and you know this is a massive purge. You know, when it calms down, oh, peace, you know, peace is coming. Peace is coming. You're going to be let, you're going to be able to let go of the past things that you've been stuck in very easily. All of a sudden it's like, you just start forgetting about it even. You don't even think about it. <laughs> so let's see what else you got here procrastination yeah i felt that you know with procrastination that you maybe you were like feeling bad because you don't have the energy to do the things that you want to do you, you don't have the motivation maybe you feel lazy and uh, but you know being 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 lazy or feeling lazy is actually just you know it's a blockage you know unmotivated you know it's it's actually something blocking you and you're falling into this just lower, you know, just lower energy. And then you, you sit there and, you know, we sit there, we watch Netflix, we eat our junk food and we feel bad. We do it, but then we, at the same time we feel bad about it. So don't feel bad about anything. I think it's very important. Keep your self-love very high. Don't judge anything that you do or do not do. So it kind of feels like it's very important that you are nice to yourself and don't criticize and be so hard towards yourself and the behaviors and the things that you're doing because... I feel like it's 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 not so easy for you because you're you're dealing with like a lot of things. Look at this, we have the black cat here, you know. Nessie also came and showed here in your reading, so here she is as well. So yeah, psychic. Uh be aware of what you're thinking, you know? Be very aware of what you're thinking and about yourself. Don't like push pu push don't talk bad about yourself and what you're doing. Don't feel bad because you have the piles of things <laughs> that you need to deal with or you're thinking like, oh, I shouldn't lay here, I should go to the gym or I shouldn't eat this, I should eat something healthy. You know, be aware of those thoughts because they take a lot of energy from you. Be compassionate towards yourself. Be forgiving towards yourself. It has to start with ourselves. When we can do, when we are compassionate and forgiving towards ourselves, that is when we can be that to other people. What we feel about ourselves is what we mirror and feel about other people so actually yeah if somebody's really mean it just shows how badly they don't like themselves actually they're just projecting that so anyways <laughs> that was a sidetrack uh, you're going to if you wanted to start going to the gym if you wanted to start eat more healthy it's going to come naturally with your energy rising here so don't feel bad about that just wait this out because there's a fresh energy coming in here very fresh energy and i feel like you're expanding your consciousness you have purged something hedgehog wow come on acceptance accept embrace who you are yeah it's like a lot about self-love and and with the, the the hedgehog here with the spikes or pikes never remember the name um you know you need to protect yourself so once again it feels like you have like a lot on your plate, like they say. You had like a lot to deal with. There, there's been like a lot of energies. There's been a lot of purges. There's, there's been maybe a lot of healing and a lot of fire. So, you know, and when you're dealing with a lot of things like that, maybe you don't have energy to deal with other things. And that has to be fine, you know. And then there will be a phase coming here where you will have like a lot of energy. So... Once again, hang in there. Accept whatever is going on. Most of all, accept yourself. Hmm. Let's see the last card. Inner voice. Wow. So also get in touch with your inner voice. So there is, I feel like there's subconscious thoughts, negative thoughts, negative self-talk. You know that self-talk that we all have. I want you to observe that. Observe that. And you need to guide yourself when you are talking, when, the neg when the, there is negative self-talk. You just observe that and say, oh, okay, I'm thinking these thoughts. And for many of us, you know, it's like a set of thoughts that you're thinking about yourself. It can be, I remember like many years ago when I had my awakening, I started to do that. I told myself like, I am so ugly. Actually, I said that many times, like 10, 20, 30, 50 times a day. I said, oh, I'm so ugly. Oh, I'm so ugly. I don't remember exact uh, 
phrase, but it was one phrase, you know, it's like a couple of words, one sentence, and I kept repeating that. So I want you to observe to see what is that negative self-talk, what is those sentences that you keep telling yourself every day over and over again. And then I want you to observe it and go like, oh, there they came again, oh, there they came again. So when we're observing them like this, you are not lost in them there are not they become like energy vampires you know our own thoughts are our biggest enemies you know they suck the energy the life force out of us so something is telling you something telling you this or telling you that making you feel bad about with procrastination about your ability about your capacity about your motivation to do things somehow it feels like you feel bad you know and it's very important i feel like the resistance or the, th the thoughts in themselves is the problem so if you just accept that you bring more love into your mind you bring more forgiveness and compassion to yourself and I feel like this is going to make like a lot of changes for you and with that you find the truth with that you can start hearing the inner voice the inner voice is not the negative self-talk the inner voice is this truth you know the truth speaking through you you know it's channeled here and i feel like this is like a, i feel like this is like yeah this is a sign a message do that if you just do that everything will be fine uh yeah everything will be fine and you will guide yourself out of this energy hmm for many of you you already did the work you're already doing this and this is about to end yeah just hang on there one two months i hear it's going to be fine maybe even one two weeks you know because january is soon starting so let's do tarot card <clears throat> let's see which deck we should use and i think we're gonna take this one okay very curious <laughs> what can it be we have let's see sufi tarot okay let me find it and I found it so let's see here what we got for you yeah these big decks okay this really came out <laughs> yeah very hard with big decks when you have small hands <laughs> so anyways let's see here hmm yeah you shouldn't I, I don't know I keep feeling like you shouldn't think bad about yourself self-talk you know it can be very subconscious telling you this telling you that uh yeah because i feel like you already had you already had other people telling you this and that so hmm and maybe that's where you adopted these thoughts from from the first place you will fit one more card look at the beautiful backgrounds here <laughs> okay <clears throat> so let's see here what we have for you we have three of pentacles wow yeah look at this you're building something beautiful here with a mosaic mosaic i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right so yeah you're building something beautiful here and this is what i felt for many of you you've been going through <clears throat> this big purge you've been taking back pieces yeah look at this you've been taking back your power and taking back pieces making yourself whole again it's like a path here look at this so this is beautiful and this could be a confirmation just that yeah this is just another purge <laughs> you're soon going to be out of it and you're going to feel very good you know, you, you took back one another piece of yourself. You healed and took back another piece of yourself. Four of Cups. Wow, interesting with procrastination. It goes very good with Four of Cups because also here is like shows dissatisfaction. It shows boredom. And, you know, you have a lot of <laughs> rice here. It looks good, the food here. Hmm. Four of Cups. Let's see what else we got. Three of Cups, Four of Cups. We have Queen of Wands. Wow, this is nice. And once again, it feels like you've been, you've been or you are like stuck in something, and it's just slow moving, and it's like something is maybe even repeating itself with the bushfires here. There's fires. You turn, you you. It's like you you see one fire and you put water on it, and you what is it called? You turn it down. No, what's it called when you? Turn off a fire. <laughs> Can't remember how you say it. And then another fire starts. And the only thing you've been doing is like trying to handle all these fires in your life. So maybe you're like you're bored with these damn fires. Like can it can it stop already? <laughs> so but Queen of Wands once again shows like you're going to get your confidence back because you feel like you've been a little bit 
pushed down by life, you felt like a little bit hope, maybe hopeless, meaningless. You you felt like a little bit disappointed here and just like fed up maybe, you know, it's like just tired and fed up of this. But soon again, you're going to feel good again. We have seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's been going slow, poor you. And we have six of swords. Wow. So yeah, seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's been going slow and tired of... What is it called? Oh, I can't find the word. <laughs> tired of turning down fires. Tired of extinguishing. Extinguishing. <laughs> extinguishing fires. Yeah, it's like you extinguish one fire and then another one starts. And you do the extinguish that one and then another one starts. And you're like, what the... What's wrong with all these fires? You know, and you're tired... And you're waiting for it because you already feel like you, you already, you've been sensing this good energy coming in here, you know. You are in touch also with your inner voice and you've been sensing this good energy. You're like, where is it? But it's coming, you know, with the queen of, um, queen of wands here. Keep your, keep your uh, confidence. And But I also think you're going to regain your confidence because I feel like you lost it a little bit here. Because because of this, because it was too too much. So six of swords here, your last tarot card. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> How you are finally moving to the sunrise here. And I don't know what this is, but it kind of looks like, look, doesn't this look like a spirit? You know, like some kind of like an angel or something, like a spirit, light being almost, guiding you, with you. And here you go, you're wearing green here. So your heart is open here. And you're sailing into, and you're you're free here. So soon you're going to move. Six of Swords, you know, it's a card of movement. Soon you're going to move here. So just hang in there, hang in there. Pile number two. This is soon over, and you're going to start enjoying that new energy because you did purge, you did purge, and you did take a piece of the puzzle back. You took a piece of yourself back, and look how much you have healed. You see this? You already got all these pieces. Now you got one here, and look here is also. You know, you're getting help. There's many hands here. So, you know, you have three hands here. So you're getting help also, you know, you, you know, I saw the spirit here really st stood out here. So you're getting help by your spirit guides and certain light beings to, to heal and get back all the pieces of the puzzle. It kind of almost looks like it's whole here. You can just walk on it. You know, you're going towards the light here. You're going towards the light here. <clears throat> so this is a very, very nice, very nice shift that is coming soon. And you're going to start to enjoy <clears throat> like I said, your new your new vibration. It's going to be a vibration and energy within you like a, that you've never had before. Now, definitely not in this lifetime. So new state of being. A new state of being, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Pile number two. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile three and welcome to your reading. So you fell drawn to this card. Let's see what we have here behind the tape. And look at that, we have a number one and emotions with black moonstone. Okay. Hmm. Wow, well, I don't know if you hear this, but it, there's a big storm here outside. <laughs> so emotions. You asked for a sign or message. What is it? Let's see here. What else we got? We have free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment and to love without conditions. Wow. We also have channel. Wow, this is interesting. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. So, you know, I already was feeling that with the black moonstone here, like really psychic energy. <clears throat> very, very psychic energy. And I don't know, getting like this priestess, sham shamanic energy almost. Something going on deep within your emotions. The number one here makes me feel like it's a kind of, maybe it's like a new start or like you are about to get, channel something. Channel a new healing technique, challenge healing to yourself. But something is about to come down here. Free spirit makes me think that you're very open. Very open for the moment to receive or it's telling you to open up to receive. So let's see what else we got here. Confidence. <laughs> What is this? Oh, that's in the card. You see that little white thing here? Anyways, we have 33 there. Look at that. So master number. 
Uh, Archangel Sadkiel is presenting you with opportunities to boost your self-esteem. Sadkiel, you know, works with the violet flame. Is it called the violet flame? I can't remember now. The violet, violet flame of light. <clears throat> Healing energy, the violet flame, that is very transmutating. It's transmuting energies, confidence. Something is, 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 you can, something is about to be channeled through you. And I feel like something with your, open your crown chakra, because it's coming here. It's going to <clears throat> transmutate denser energy, something with your emotions. Maybe you've been working a lot with your emotions with your inner child some deep very deep parts of yourself i'm getting like scorpio eight house 12th house energy here <clears throat> so maybe you have some important placements there or something is going on in those houses you have some transit or something going on but it seems to be i feel free spirit just i see your crown chakra opening up and I would channel, I see this energy coming down. Yeah, it's the solstice. So this is a timeless reading, but I know solstice is here this week in a couple of days just. So something is coming down here. 33, being channeled by ascended masters, by angels. Awakening your mastery in some way, maybe. Come on. <laughs> cosmic consciousness. I mean, come on. We have 46 here as well. But yeah, cosmic consciousness and crown chakra. So yeah, something is going on with your crown chakra, definitely. And uh, hmm, you know, it's like this violet flame. The violet flame of like, I can't remember the name. I think that's the name. Anyways, it's a very, very strong energy actually. You know, it burns, it transmutates and burns negative energies, transmutates them, transforms them. So, you know, when you are, if you've been working with the violet flame, you know, it's very, very powerful actually. And Sadkiel also, you know, is, is one of the angels that are overseeing this together with Saint Germain, the ascended master Saint Germain. So, you're about to raise your consciousness. They are helping you to do this. They are helping you to go deep. And I feel like this energy is going to go deep with the black moonstone here, deep into the depths of your subconscious and clear out some things. For some of you, you're getting rid of some karmic contracts or some things. And this is, this is very interesting because I told my... <clears throat> I told my twin flame yesterday, I said, you need to put, put very, very strong intentions on uh, the December 21st, you know, the solstice. Very, very strong intentions because the intentions that we put is going to be what's going to happen next year. And I felt, I really felt this so strongly. So this is also a message to you. And like I said, this is a timeless reading. So if the solstice is not anywhere close, it could be any other astrologically, astrological event that is closest to you from from this point when you're watching the reading you need to put very very strong intentions because there's something it's opening up for you here wow i'm getting goosebumps on my crown chakra this is so strange wow 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 okay i'm getting like a lot of confirmations i'm getting goosebumps everywhere but my crown chakra is really like um you know it feels like ants crawling you know it's really vibrating <laughs> so very strong confirmation here it's going to be very powerful for you and it's going to go very deep, clearing out contracts, you know, soul contracts, soul bonds. You are ready to release certain of those, certain contracts you don't even have to fulfill anymore because you did, you've done some other work, they're saying. They, they say you dealt with some other things. You have gathered some positive or good karma and you've been doing something from, for other people maybe or you've been helping other people in some way. And because of this, you are getting like a free pass. Yeah, <clears throat> you're getting like a free pass from certain outdated contracts. You haven't fulfilled them, but they say it's not necessary anymore because you learned the lesson in other ways. You know, so this is completely new energy. I say I'm channeling this now. You know, I had no idea about this. So this really resonates with me as well. This was so, so, this was really, very really nice, actually. Let's see what else we got here. Volcanoes and power. Yeah, very powerful energy now. 
you know? And I felt that. I felt like when this violet flame of light, I know it's very powerful. I worked with it before. And also, you know, I worked with Sadkiel and Saint Germain. And, you know, <clears throat> I know if I work with this energy, it can be very, very strong. <laughs> and when it comes, you know, it comes in, you channel it, it comes in, it goes to the depth of your subconscious, it starts clearing things out. Could be that you're going to have a little purge with the volcano erupting here. But look at this. The volcano is erupting. You're having a purge. <clears throat> but look at this woman here. She's kind of enjoying it, you know. She is the fire here. So it's kind of like letting this energy go through your spinal cord or go through your body. So it's like releasing this energy. It's very important maybe to open all your chakras and let this move. And I had my kundalini energy was going I don't know December has been a very <laughs> challenging month for me actually <clears throat> my kundalini energy was going like fire like crazy fire just the other day and I sat down and I just intuitively felt like okay it's stuck somewhere you know between the solar plexus and the heart chakra because I, I, I my heart my heart was not open so I just sat down and I just opened my heart and whoop it said and the energy just moved <laughs> right through my spinal cord and it felt like such a relief so it's very important that you keep your chakras open and let this energy flow through you because you can work with this now you can work with the solace or whatever astrological event is coming up here you can work with that you can cleanse and purge something out and you're getting like a lot of help here you know this is the this archangel Sadkiel and saint germain you know they are helping uh, the ascension they're helping human beings souls here on earth to ascend so this is their job they love this look he's smiling <laughs> he's saying yeah let me do this and he's 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 showing his hand saying yeah i'm here to help you well you know we're here to help you <laughs> we're all here to help you you know we want to help you raise your vibration free yourself get in touch with that cosmic consciousness and clear out your energy and help you ascend you know so let's see what else we got here. Healing. Yeah, wow. This is beautiful. Deep healing. And we have 21 here. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, I said the solstice. Solstice is the 21st of December here in Sweden at least. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, 21. So wow, one more confirmation. Big healing coming up here. Big healing. <clears throat> Could be very good for you to meditate. And then once again, meditate. Feel your shushumna, the, the, the channel that goes through the, the spinal cord, like kind of like visualize it, how it's open, visualize, visualize white light going through it, you know, crown chakra, third eye, uh, throat chakra, um, heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral chakra, <laughs> root chakra, and down maybe even to the, um, um, what is it called, the earth earth star chakra why i can't remember words you know it's so strange <laughs> yeah sometimes it's just like that can't even talk anyways let's just leave that to the side <clears throat> but open up your chakras meditate try to open up your energy as much as possible because there is you can really really take advantage of this this is for you you picked pile number three this is for you this is what's going on here yeah you are open for this and you are ready for this cat come on speak your truth yeah i just said i i couldn't speak <laughs> so anyway speak your truth have strength faith and conviction in your voice it has never been more needed so speak with confidence i think this is for me as well <laughs> speak with confidence and we have the cat here you know the black cat this looks like an i don't know egyptian sun symbol or something so once again you're downloading like a lot of things like really really like a lot of things and the black cat once again it's a symbol for this psychic energy it goes so good together with the emotions and the black moonstone here very very psychic energy and then we have she's wearing like some kind of turquoise crystal showing the higher heart chakra but also the throat chakra and her eyes are blue here so it's, there's a lot going on with your higher chakras and cosmic consciousness is being activated in these chakras you are leveling up your psychic abilities you're leveling up your healing abilities you're leveling up your throat chakra you're you're speaking you know we can speak 3d words or 4d words or vibration the words are yeah they're all important but it's more about the vibration 
but every word has a vibration. Okay, let's not go there. So it's like your speaking becomes more aligned with this higher cosmic energy. And it could be that new words are starting to come out and maybe you're even going to lose some words. <laughs> yeah, lose some words and new words comes out because you're becoming like a channel for something higher, channeling your higher self, free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without condition. Very, very high energy here. So it's like you're becoming a higher version of yourself, and something is coming here to help you to purge something else. So you're definitely, you're ready for this. Don't be scared about the purge here. You can handle anything probably, you know. Uh, not, we have a nine here, and, you know, uh, nine shows that something is about to end so something is about to end so it comes up here and it's about to end what's the last card here so family beautiful wow beautiful so you're getting aligned with certain people but once again i feel like you know you're the angels here and the light beings and the ascended masters is your soul family look at it we have buddha here also can i see that buddha buddha so this is your soul family probably you are yourself you're i heard you're going to be an ascended master or an, or an ascended angel so somehow you are already like a light being or some kind of star seed and you came here and you did this whole experience so you're one of the first people to awaken and to ascend in this way you know there's been other ways but in this way where we are transcending the mind the ego where we are uh, transmutating the the pain body and the human condition you know the, the way we are here on earth from the 3d 4d level you're transcending that we're all doing that you know everybody's doing that but you're on the front line here you're amongst those in the front line who's doing this and be, be, because you it's very important that you do it as well because you holding this vibration holding this truth channeling this free spirit energy is helping other people to heal but first it's about you even if it goes hand, hand in hand, of course, everything that you do also affects the collective. So it goes hand in hand, but you're in the front line here and it's very important. And that's why you, you don't have so much family actually here on earth. And that made me want to cry. Wow, that hit me really, really strong. <laughs> like if you felt lost in your family or if you feel like you don't connect really from that, from that deep place that you want to, it's because... Yes, you have soul bonds and you have soul you have soulmates here, you know, many many soulmates, maybe even in your fam in your family, but it's not they don't come from where you come from and you have many star seed soulmates and stuff like that as well. But you have a certain soul family and I feel like you have maybe a few people here with you on earth, but your real family is not here. Your real family, look at this. I I just love this smile and this hand here. Showing like you belong with us, you know, <laughs> we are your family. So that's why maybe you feel lonely at times, but this is your soul family. The light beings, the ascended master, the angels here, this is where you belong. So, yeah, I don't know, that was a side message maybe, but beautiful. Yeah, I got lost in that energy. It felt so good. <laughs> yeah, it felt so good. I felt like I, I felt like I, I felt like I found home for like a little, little second there when I tapped into that energy. It was like, yes, yes, <laughs> I really understood it. Anyways, <laughs> enough about me. Let's uh, take some tarot cards here and get some deeper messages. And I think I, can, I want to really do, oh no, too many cards. Yeah, okay, we're going to do this one. And we have the Dark Mansion Tarot, one of my absolute decks, absolute favorite decks. Uh, hmm. It's very interesting because it's a little bit dark for this energy, but uh, yeah. Hmm. No, it's yeah. Let's just go for it. Let's see what's going on here. And okay, let's see. Oh, that came out. Okay, I think it came out like this. That came out and this one. We're going to do that one. Hmm. So, and we're going to do this one. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you saw it. I'm just going to push it. This one also fell out here. <laughs> like that. Knight of Pentacles, the first card here. I think we're going to start with that because it really showed, it came out here in the front. So, Knight of Pentacles, 
I feel like you're very stable. Like I said with the, the volcano, so something is going to be channeled, it's going to come down into the deepest of your subconscious, it's going to clear out certain things. And you know, when, when the light comes in, it pushes out the darkness. And this darkness is going to be pushed into the surface. And because of that, there could be some discomfort. There could be some intense emotions. And the volcano is erupting here with power. Could be some intense emotions coming up but i felt like you're very strong you can handle this you know you probably worked with yourself like a lot and also because i feel it this star seed ascended master light being angel energy here feels like you you're very like yeah, spiritual and you have your tools and you you know what to do so you're not lost here knight of pentacles it's a long journey you're on this journey and you you found stability here so rely on your stability keep yourself grounded and keep Moving, keep, keep, yeah, just keep yourself grounded here. We have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Delays, I heard. Don't, certain things are delayed. <clears throat> We're also in Mercury retrograde actually right now. So once again, it makes me think, yeah, certain things are delayed. Don't, don't worry about that. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have eight of ones. Come on. <laughs> so it's going to pick up speed pretty soon. And, and maybe there's a pause right now. You know, maybe there's a pause. Maybe you feel like you missed something or you're missing out on something. I feel like just don't worry about that. There is, it seems like there is a little pause now when you're meant to deal with this change <laughs> yeah this purge this change this this whole thing going on here whatever you know raising your consciousness so something has been put on pause your ace of pentacles here hmm but eight of one shows it's going to good news are coming for you so maybe you're waiting for good news and you're waiting for something but it's not coming but here it comes so quickly when this is done it comes and we have eight of swords yeah, you're meant to take yourself out of something. This is what they want to do now. You have certain soul contracts and bonds that you've been stuck in. And they are giving you a free pass now. They're giving you a free pass because they're saying, yeah, this is the way we have to do it. This is the way we're going to do it. There are many people now, light workers or, you know, people around the world that are awakening, that that is getting this now. And it's not just, it's not free pass from nowhere. It's like you did other work. You did, you did other things. You dealt with collective things. You took responsibilities that wasn't yours. You've been transmutating collective energies, heavy energies that wasn't even yours. <laughs> so you've been like, you've been, you have like a, uh, what's it called? I can't, I can't, I don't even know the word actually. I don't know even if there is a word for this. <laughs> yeah, it's like a galactic word. So somehow, somehow you made it right for yourself. So I feel like now there's stop, something is stopped here. <clears throat> Could it be your career or something else here? So don't worry about that if you've been working with something and if that is on hold for a little while here because it's going to catch up again because now they are focusing on getting you out of this. Eight of Swords here. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> don't be confused. Uh, it's, yeah, it doesn't help if I say don't be confused, but you don't have to be confused because it feels like you're stuck and you're confused. I feel like there's no need for that because soon you're going to be moving. Yes, it's moving a bit slow with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's pretty steady. And I feel like this volcano is going to erupt and then it's not going to be slow anymore <laughs> because then it's going to be like a release of emotions, you know, coming out of you. We have Seven of Pentacles. Wow, interesting. So Seven of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven stands for Challenges, Responsibility, and Personal Development. But yeah, so it's moving slow. You're waiting for something. You were waiting for something. And now it, it stopped. Strength. Wow. Yeah, just be strong. You know, just stay strong. You're on track. Something is you're something is being dealt with it, and and, and I feel like some really like something has been on hold. I feel like just let it be on hold. <laughs> Don't try to get the energy moving. Don't try to force the energy because it's not going to be moving. You know, with Ace of Pentacles in reverse, together with Eight of Swords and Seven of Pentacles and even Seven of Cups here, 
it's not going to move, you know, you can't force it and you can't do anything because there's other things going on now. It will catch up speed again here with Eight of Wands. You will be moving forward with Knight of Pentacles. You're not even lost. You haven't lost anything. It's just a pause. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little pause now. So stay strong and everything will be fine. And I think we're going to do uh, like three more cards actually. Or yeah, I, I felt that. So let's do... Let's take uh, this deck and I, I feel, I don't know why, I just felt like we should do one or two or three cards. Let's see how many comes up. Okay, that's too many. We saw death here. So death really wanted to come up here. So yeah, you're going, once again, I think this is the last card. So confirmation, you're going through a big transformation right now. That That's why other things in your life is put on a pause. It will it will catch up speed again. I'm repeating myself. Maybe it's important for you to know. Don't push it. Don't stress it. Just let it be. Just let it be. And it will, it seem, it's something else is being removed out of your life. And when that is removed also, you're going to be able to see seven of cups again. So yeah, seven of cups, seven of cups. You can't really see now. There's a lot of illusions in the ways in the way yeah a lot of illusions in the way so you can't even see now so it's like something needs to be cleared out and they're working with clearing this out and we had let's see how many cards we have here yeah we have page of cups here so yeah there's going to be a new start you're going to get those good news the good news that you were waiting for you think it's gone it's it's coming the good news is coming and we have the chariot and you will pick up speed again <laughs> you will pick up speed again and you will be moving forward with success and i think this is the last card two of cups yeah look at that you will get what you want you will get what you wanted you know you will attract what you want and you will get into union with what you wanted beautiful here if you want to write a contract or something like that you will do that and that was the last card <laughs> so yeah everything looks fine pile number three <clears throat> this was your reading if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.